Welcome guys to another episode of Feed the Beast Interactions with your host, Relax RPG. How's it going all? Uh, so, last episode we got, whoops, last episode we got uh, our blast furnace and our coke oven set up. And those just making us some charcoal, also making us creosote oil. And then making steel out of this one. Well, there's none in there right now, but you know what I'm talking about. And so today, I think we're going to take a little turn away from this and work on getting us a kitchen uh, and actually doing good with all of our food items and trying to get our nutrition levels. Uh, so one of the main things you need for all this kitchen is a lot of terracotta. And well, look, more coke oven bricks. Some iron, we're going to need quite a bit of iron. And so we're going to get that going right away. This thing is great, it just smelts the stacks upon stacks. And then also, something else that we're going to need is in order to get salt you need woven cotton and your basic work table with some water and you get salt so woven cotton is just two string hopefully we have plenty of string so this is just going to be to test out this get rid of that that in there for salt. Um, I didn't actually notice if it used that up or not. So let's take another bucket out real quick. Nope. Oh, you only need the one woven cotton. Well, that was a waste of some. Either way. that back in here so that's gonna be our way to get salt we'll probably bring that brick well over to wherever we're going to be needing all the salt and then also you need the salt for oh where did it go uh, you need the salt and wheat in order to make dough which is going to be a key item in a lot of our recipes. So let's just go on that. Bread, dough, put it in a wooden basin with the flour. So that's what we need is the wooden basin. Which is stone, planks, and a stick. Okay. Do we have any? Stone already, that's cobblestone, basalt, and coke oven brick. We did make some extra, so that's good. Alright, let's cook up some stone really quick. Just do two right now, since we're just kind of. This thing goes faster. Probably get rid of those actually now. So there's some of our terracotta. This is cooking up our stone really quick. And then from there, we're going to need flour. To get flour, see if there is another way, stone anvil, hmm. Or you could just put wheat with your mortar to get our flour. Stone. Some wood. There goes five and a couple sticks. I can't remember how it went. 
thought I was going to do good and just remember it from this time till then, but nope. Alright, wooden basin. Sure. And one of the things it needs is water and then the flour. Where is the iron mortar? Pretty sure we have, yep, there we go. And that took up our entire basin, that's great. There's also this flour, which is just used in different types of recipes. Um, I don't know if you can get dough out of this, so let's make batter. Let's make puddings. So now let's go grab our well, since it's no longer needed over here because of our Everfull urn. that right there. Just throw it in or? Oh, right click it in. And we're mixing. With a log. It looks like a log to me. And we got four. So what happens if I put more water in here? Say I put, whoops, this is not the crucible. Three salt, three flour. It can't hold that much. Okay, so two salt, two flour. Let's find out guys. is a lot of mixing. This probably isn't going to work either. Doesn't seem like it. So if I have this full much water, is it going to mess it up? This is super thrilling video. On the bright side, our tree farm's doing good. All right, take some of this out. I need to put more nuts in there. Not the button I wanted. Well, seems like we're just stuck doing it one at a time. So I'm going to get some of this dough made up and then we'll keep going on with our kitchen and getting it made. Alright guys, so we have quite a bit of the materials here gathered together that we need to get a good start at least on making our kitchen. So I think we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, so this one we do need the lava clay bucket. Where is my mitt? It is gonna have to make a new one of those soon. So go put this on. At least leather will be easier to get now. Get our bucket of lava. Run back over here. We already have the obsidian, well element other materials that we need in our inventory, so this should there we go. Be pretty easy. So we have our cooking table, our stove, we need five iron plates. So I do have a bunch of iron made up here. I'm just doing that because we're going to need them all. Uh, so the glass across the top, iron plates, and coke oven brick. We got our oven, fridge, a chest, Oops, 
with an iron door, which we can do that pretty simple. Uh, we'll get the chest in a second. Water bucket. That's probably going to use our water bucket too. So, get a bucket of water. Which will actually mean we won't need the well and it'll automatically add water to any of the recipes we need. So, eh. Oh, didn't use the water bucket. That is fantastic. Uh, I can do the tool rack, toaster, four, eight, and then a bucket of lava. That would actually be super useful too. I need to get a cow in a jar. That one's complicated. So we just need a couple of chests now. Should be good, at least for the initial is chest, a little storage block, and an iron door. There is the fridge. It can be placed on the wall and we'll get our other kitchen counter. Alright. So for the kitchen. Select an item on the right to see its recipe. Just cook up dough. All right, so we got the fridge. We will have, we'll put our counter right next to that. And then the sink. Does that make sense? Maybe we should put this here. It's not gonna like destroy it, right? Okay. Oven, counter, then the sink. I know you guys probably think I'm crazy for like, why does this actually matter, but it really doesn't. It's just for my own. How tall is this? Is it just one block? We got a half fridge right now. So if I put that in the fridge, oh, you can store all that in there. Where would this end up going though? Just like that. Okay, so let's go grab all of our cookware stuff. Which one was that in? Food? It's been a minute since I had cooked any other food. Ah, that's right, okay. So what did this want? That wanted the pan, the pot, saucepan, and then we have to make those two and put that up there, that up there. So let's get the other ones. Where they come from? Where are they coming from? Also, something I just want to check really quick. So, do I have to put water in this? Oh, I do. Guess we'll keep the well over here. This holds a lot more water. Select an item on the right to see each recipe. Dead on the cutting board. Oh, I didn't put the cutting board up here, did I? Alright, let's see what happens if we put some coal in there. Or charcoal. If it will actually... 
shift click to cook a stack. Click again to cook. There it goes. And now we got two of our dough in there automatically cooking up. So this is how we're going to try to get all of our food processing to be easier. So let's say if I put, I don't know if that'll actually work. Oh, since it has the two bread in there, you can make toast just by doing that. Okay. That is useful. And there's our toast. Well, nope. Oh, it's slowly turning it into toast. When it goes down, it goes over there. Okay, uh, we'll get our other little thing set up and then we'll be back. All right, guys, so I got the rest of our cooking things made up. So we got a juicer, the cutting board, uh, mortar and pestle, mixing bowl. What is this one then? Pestle and mortar. Mortar and pestle. This one? That's Batania. And, okay, we'll put that over there. That makes more sense. I don't know if I like the one over the sink anyway. But, and then we got bakeware, pot, saucepan, and skillet. So, and then I brought a bunch of our foods over already. So if we click on our cooking table here, you can see we got all sorts of recipes in here now, which makes this so much easier. Baked hams, beef jerky, bread, caramel. Ooh, look at that. And this will just dried soup automatically make up anything that we really want. Um, so one of the meals I was looking at is, nope, nope, Epic BLT. We need to get some tomatoes. That's what I'm saying. Now we could keep going with our Epic Bacon. Anyway, distractions. Uh, like this delighted meal right here, which is just a deluxe cheeseburger fries and then smoothies. Oh, that's the other thing. We need to get an ice tray to install in our fridge. Uh, that way we could get snowballs added and then we could just make smoothies. Um, and then for a deluxe cheeseburger, we do need tomatoes. So we're going to have to get some tomato seeds going. And then get cheese you just need salt and then we have to get milk that's gonna be the fun one so we need to get some cows going then we can get the milk put that in there get all of our cheese make a bunch of delighted meals which will be great for our saturation and also we're gonna to try to balance out our nutrition uh, with the nutrition balanced out you do get uh, perks to your health which would be fantastic because I do want to go we have those two dungeons over there or it may just be one dungeon with two entrances. Entrances, I'm not 100% sure. I will throw the coffee over there, carrots, yep, yep. Um, canola? Nah, it's not part of this. Kiwis, coffee beans, that's part of rustic. And in the dungeons we can find a lot more uh, sort of crafting items, I guess, or materials to build with, and I would just see if they can make our lives a little bit easier. Uh, we'll throw the rice in there too. Take the apples out, put that in there. Put the rest of this in here. I don't know why I'm actually sorting this, like it's a real kitchen. It's not like the food deteriorates here. Uh, but the other thing that we wanted, so all this stuff comes from cooking for blockheads. Uh, toaster, not too overly concerned about right now. I don't want to spend another 16 iron on this. Spice rack would be kind of cool. Uh, there's different kitchen cabinets you can make. But the ice unit. Red snow and ice recipes. We need to get snowballs. What is this one? Yeah. Uh, and then we also need some quartz, which I think we might still have some. 
Oh, quad stardus quartz. We compressed it down. Another quartz. Up here, another quartz, another quartz. Plate. Well, of course, you got to go to the nether to get nether quartz and not use Sirtis quartz. So I should have read closer. Uh, but what I have been doing instead, and of course it's raining, is making a little fruit plant gazebo thing. Um, so it's just leaves. And then if you get some fruits that have seeds like there's the jackfruits i wonder if i just put limes up there but you can hang them back up well that one's not actually working uh but like the jackfruit here uh when uh, you harvest that one it also drops a seed so you can hang that up Ooh. so that's what this is going to turn into uh, it's just a little fruit gazebo so that we can always have it available. Uh, made the little rustic stakes. Uh, I don't know if I have anything on. The wooden stakes from rustic and then you could put your tomato seeds on those and I think they grow up to three high. Uh, also what's cool about these you can walk in between them. So it won't really mess up your farm all too much. So now we got chili peppers gone. We're going to have uh, all the tomatoes going. I kind of like this. Let's see how tall I can go. And then that way, with all the different fruits and everything that we're getting in here, we're going to be able to make any of the smoothies that we need uh, for our food recipes. The next thing I have also been doing is melting a bunch of our iron. There is a reason. Because, take that out, we need an anvil. And with that anvil, we are going to ooh, possess cow souls. Can you make a spawn cow? Certainly can't. Don't need to do that though, we got cows out there. Uh, we're going to make a milk jar and an anvil and so you have to get a cow to stand on top of the milk jar and then drop the anvil on him. That is the plan. Um, so when it's daytime and not raining and I have an anvil, we're going to be doing that. Alright guys, uh, we don't have the jar yet. I was looking at it. I figured I would show you guys how this one gets made. It's actually kind of a lot more difficult than you think. So you need to get a mixed metal ingot, which is iron, bronze, and a tin plate. Then you put that into the compressor. Wait, right there. Which will do its little thing over some time. Do, 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 do. But, so you need that. Um, you should only need one because you need an advanced alloy plate and some glass and you put that in the alloy smelter advanced alloy plates okay and then three glass there's two i know we have some glass shards let's turn all those into glass right now and you'll also need uh, the starlight infused log planks, which I think maybe two. I'll try two. So just do that, and you get infused wood planks. And then we're also going to need a couple pieces of steel, um, but we'll get that in a second. So three glass and your advanced alloy plate, get that going. Probably hook this steam piping back up to this. That makes sense, right? Sure, small bronze pipe. Can you connect to that? Sure. And you get four or four reinforced glass. Now with the reinforced glass, 
we need to make a structural class, which is one reinforced class and one steel plate. So we're going to need four steel plates. Sorry, four ingots for two steel plates. Can't wait till we get the metal bender. So now I'm going to go back over here. Our alloy smelter, put those in there. And that's going to make that. And then we will need some milk. So we'll run all the way out here because we got some cows. Don't come here, cow. That was a weird sound. Bamboo is doing great. Back up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Should probably stop running everywhere. Um, you can see I also put the hazelnut up there. I gotta figure out actually exactly how to get the seeds. I've only found about two plants so far that will give you the seeds. Uh, and the other one is slowly going. So structural glass. Actually, we'll just wait for the other one. I think some of the logs might be wearing out because these don't last forever uh, it will just it'll give you so many and then it will have to eventually disappear and reuse but you just plant other saplings and they'll automatically grow back so that's not too big of a deal almost there also I was thinking we're gonna have to keep dyes in our food cabinets over there for the epic bacon all right so we have our eight structural glass And I believe that's in yep the work table. So put the milk in the work table. Take that out. Put that around. Use plank. All right, we got a milk jar. We have an anvil. Now we have to get a cow to stop somewhere so we can drop this on him. Um, don't know. This is gonna be the tricky part. going to be able to really get him, but we'll find out. Now where did cow? Find out, find, stop, stop somewhere, please. That'll work. The tricky part is going to be getting him to stand on the glass jar. I'm gonna have to dig down a couple. I got an idea. No, no. Oh man. Okay. Go in there. I guess I should have pinched some in quicker, right? What? Are you that fat? I can't put anything around you? This one, he, he's standing on that one, so we got to take out. You know what, just to be safe. Last jar. So I can take out the next one too. Okay, cow down there. And anvil. Yeah, it worked. And it is slowly filling up with milk. So that's the great thing. It will constantly just fill up with milk for us now. Um, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, oh, okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Make this look normal again. All right. It's 
been an eventful one. Now, you just throw him on a counter somewhere. Let's make another counter really quick. Okay. Stores ingredients, stores ingredients for recipes, kitchen counter, stone chest. Okay. We still have enough for that. Um, give me the saw. Right there. Yeah, I can see stuff. Some more planks. And we need the stone. Chest. Okay. Okay. And that's all. Can you use it? I don't think you can. So stone, chest. Terracotta, another kitchen counter. Put this right. Hmm. I don't want to make the corner piece now, actually. We got enough to do that, too. No use in particular. That's fancy. All right. So if we put it, nope, not like. Why did it do like that? Come on. Don't be like this. Do I got to stand on here now? There we go. Put this here. Store more food in there. Cow. Right there. So that's gonna keep filling back up. Uh, once we actually get a bucket of milk, then it'll be usable in there, so. So, if you look here, uh, crispy rice puff cereal. Um, that is something we can make now. And if you look at the ingredients, it requires milk. Which, we don't have milk in any of our cabinets. I accidentally di dyed the fridge red and that cabinet, don't judge me. Um, and there's no milk in here, it's just from this. So that will get used in the recipe, which is great. So this is, I think, I gotta make a little hut for our kitchen. But yeah, this is going to be working out pretty well. Uh, so if you put more of the little stakes on top of these two, it will automatically grow up all by itself. Yay, all the tomatoes. So you have to be like right on top of them to harvest these ones. Which is really nothing to complain about, I guess. There are worse things in life. But yeah, guys, uh, I think that's pretty good progress on getting all of our food situation sorted out. Do we have rice in the fridge? We have rice in the fridge. But if you like this episode, please hit that like button, guys helps out, makes me feel good. I bet it makes you feel good too. So until next time guys, and when we can make each other feel good, see you later.